for roller coaster enthusiasts, a highly charged roller coaster, once wearing the crown as the fastest wooden roller coaster in the world, is found at Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The coaster, known as Lightning Rod, is now a combo steel and wooden coaster located within the Jukebox Junction section of Dollywood Theme Park. This section of the park is modeled in a 50s and 60s themed time period, complete with a diner, an ice cream shop housed in an Airstream trailer, a hot rod inspired retail store, and of course, the centrifuge of the jukebox junction section of the park, the electrically charged roller coaster ride itself, Lightning Rod. Requiring 1500 horsepower or 1.1 megawatts to hurdle each of its coaster trains on a fast flying journey you won't soon forget. Starting from the entrance point of the ride, the ride's theme work does a superb job of carrying its hungry, thrill-seeking travelers back in time. Classic hot rods and 57 Chevys are strategically placed outside Lightning Rod's themed service and gas station depot. The station's set design immediately lends a hand in transporting you into the era of classic hot rods, vintage signage, and nostalgic 50s and 60s props and decor. When it was first announced in 2015, it would be an all wooden coaster that used a launching system rather than the traditional chain lift, catapulting brave riders to the top of its hill to begin their flash across the Tennessee mountainside. When you're waiting to board a ride like Lightning Ride, the theme story you're thrust into can create a real sense of wonder that can be just as exciting as the ride itself. A simple but effective storyline I found myself completely submerged in, taking in all the sights and sounds of a small town service station that would have probably been operated by a full service greaser mechanic with palmade slicked hair and a cigarette pack rolled up in his sleeve. As I waited, the sounds of distant, screaming guests streamed my earways and heightened my expectations of experience in a ride I've attempted to board on other trips to Dollywood it never seemed to work out. You see, Lightning Rod had been plagued with a series of closures and upgrades over a handful of years since opening in 2015, making it sometimes difficult to ride during the brief stints it was open. Finally, in late 2020, Dollywood announced that a portion of Lightning Rod's wooden topper track had been replaced with what is known as a steel eye box track, officially earning its new description as a wood and steel hybrid coaster, reopening in 2021. And here we are today, ready to ride the Lightning. Waiting in line isn't so bad. When the scenery around you takes you inside the world of the quest you're awaiting. And like I've said, the rod fits the bill. The ride itself is outfitted within an enormous building that guests channel through to reach the queue area. I paused here and there to take a good look around as the line steadily pierced forward. It's the little accents that really tie things all together old engine blocks placed in the fictional welding shop, as well as a vintage time clock for the workers to punch in at. Don't be late for work, but you could be docked some pay. Not good. A large mural and reminder that the Hot Rod Ridge speed trials were underway today. All being welcome. I guess that means me too. Finally at the queue line, it was nearly time to board the lightning rod and discharge any fear and anxiety that may have trickled into my thought process. Lightning Rod's trains are themed after fast speeding hot rods. Each train is a six car lineup, with each car allowing four people to ride, two in the front, two in the back. On my ride, it would be just me. I quickly boarded 
jumped into the back seat. Departing the station, the coaster bolts up the first hill, flashing from zero to 45 miles an hour in the blink of an eye and reaching the top of the first elevation. How fitting. Then, a quick dip downward as you thrust forward without delay towards the tallest high ground the ride offers. Like an electrically charged bolt of lightning, your hot rod train drops 165 feet at the max speed of 73 miles per hour, pushing you back into your seat and giving you no time to calculate what is happening around you. You better hold on. Climbing rapidly, and then a hard left for Lucy, a series of elevated bank turn strikes are near misses. Before another right-left-right jolt cracks you back into full awareness. The rod isn't done with you yet. When thunder looms, lightning is struck beforehand. Fun fact for you, if watching a stormy sky, you will always see lightning before thunder. You can estimate the distance of lightning from you. After seeing a lightning flash, count how many seconds it takes to hear the sound of the pending thunder afterwards. Then, taking the number you've counted to, dividing it by five. The result would reveal an estimate on how many miles away you are from the lightning. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, lightning rod, the ride. Another crash of whipping climbs and turns might have you startled a bit, but then the hybrid coaster does a double up climb before the hot rod dispels from its anvil shaped cloud of fury. Descending into a series of four consecutive drops and a sharp bank, just to remind you who's still boss. The grand finale is a 180 degree turn that calls for the perfect photo opportunity for all your family members on the ground, too afraid to risk the light storm themselves. <laughs> Then the clouds quickly clear and the Tennessee blue skies break through as a short drop is endured before the hot rod breaks and returns you to the service depot station. Finally able to release the electrically charged energy of riding the lightning rod at Dollywood Theme Park is one exciting quest I've awaited for quite some time. Ironically, without any forewarning, it was as quick as a flash of summer lightning on a hot and humid summer day.